Pinarello are manufacturing a bike which has been informed and designed and used the knowledge and expertise from a car manufacturer to come out with a great bike that actually our guys then can get trained on in a specific ways so that we could all go fast across those cobbles. Same characteristic, a much more aerodynamic bike, but obviously that uh, have a really good shock absorbance on the, on the cobblestones to give the riders more feel, comfort, and obviously better, uh, less fatiguing uh, bike on, on the cobblestones. Today, our knowledge of the Carbon Fiber and the partnership with Jaguar has allowed up us to introduce the first ultra lightweight suspension in a road bike. Jaguar's normal role in this sort of work is vehicle development and vehicle design. So we've got a wealth of experience in ride comfort and vibration. We've used that technology, the tools, the data sets that we normally look at and applied it in this case to a new bicycle. So I think the mo moment you get on it, everyone's realised the difference straight away, especially on the cobblestones. Um, just the way it feels, um, the aerodynamics of the bike, the stiffness as well as the as the, the flex in the back and the rear end is, you know, it's, it's game changing. I think definitely feel like it's a, a huge advantage over the old bike. Bike has some significant design features over a normal rigid bike. We have a suspension system which is very lightweight and allows a physical movement of the rear wheel. We have specifically shaped chain stays that allow physical flex um, to mean there's no need for a pivot. But also the layup of the carbon in both the chain stays and the seat stays uh, allows a level of vertical compliance at the rear wheel. Our partnership with Team Sky and with Pinarello in the development of the Pinarello K8S bike really is the next significant chapter building on what we've done already with uh, Pinarello and Team Sky with the Dogma F8 last year. Quite often you have quite a lot of small innovations all clumped together to create quite a big performance difference and it's quite rare that you can have just one small innovation and a design that actually can make quite a large difference to performance and I think, you know, I think we're in one of those rare situations where that's what we've got on our hands which is fantastic.